Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product detecting sleep disorders based on EEG signals by using discrete wavelet transform. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process. Sleep stages classification is one of the most important methods for diagnosis in psychiatry and the neurology. This process discussed on the changes in the electrical activities of the human brain related to the distinct sleep disorders. Hence, the EEG data has been collected from the Synod database. The purpose of this research is to detect the different human sleep disorders through the EEG signals with time frequency analysis by receiving the information from the internal changes of brain state. For this purpose, seven different disorders have been specified such as sleep breathing disorder, rapid eye movement, behavior disorders, then the periodic leg movement disorders or etc. Hence, the several EEG records have been collected from this sleep disorder and then the analyzed by using the wavelet transform. Hence, the useful of the discrete wavelet transform is used to extract the different significant features from the analyzed signals by computing the subband coefficients and evaluating the statistical measures like energy variations, wavelength and standard deviations which are used to detect the different sleep disorders. Hence, the durability is more stable and then the more reliable. Now, we are going to discuss about the flow diagram for the process. This is the overall flow structure for the process. At first, the input signal is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the folder which consists of the several dataset signals which contains the both sleepy and then the normal data. After the getting input signal from the dataset, the pre-processing is carried out. In this pre-processing steps, we have to convert the signal single signal into an alpha, beta, gamma, delta and theta signals. After converting these five signals, the feature extraction is carried out. Feature extraction is nothing but the extracting some data values from the signal. So, for extracting the features, we are using the DWT, that is the discrete wavelet transform is used to extract the features. After the extracting the features, the collected features are undergone for the process of classification. This classification step we using the multi-SVM classifier to detect the whether the input is sleepy or normal. So for the multi-SVM, we have to give the inputs like test feature, train feature and target. Test feature represents the feature of the input signal, train feature represents the feature of the dataset signals. For example, if I have the 20 dataset signals means that 20 dataset signals will be extracted by using the DWT feature, that is the train feature. After that the target will be placed, target is nothing but the normal or sleepy. Here we have the two targets, first one is the normal and then the second one is the abnormal. So, by giving these three input for the SVM, the output will be displayed as an normal or sleepy. For example, if the normal signal is given as an input means it will be classified and then the result will be displayed as an normal. Or otherwise, the input signal will be a sleepy signal means the display will be give the result like a sleepy signal. After that, the performance will be estimated by using the performance matrix like energy, variance, standard deviation, PSNR and MSE. By using these parameters, we can justify our process is efficient or not. Now, we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. At first, open the MATLAB 2015 and change the current directory. If you want to execute the code means, just right click in the main underscore gui.em and select the option run. Now the initial GUI 
design was open after running the main file. Now select the input signal from the data set. After the selection of the input signal from the data set, the corresponding signal is shown in the access one with the title input signal. After that the pre-processing will be done. In this pre-processing step, first of all the input signal is converted into an alpha signal, then the beta signal, then gamma signal and then the finally theta signal. Now the corresponding result of the alpha signal is placed in the axis 2 with the title alpha then the beta signal is shown in the axis 3 with the title beta signal then the gamma signal is plotted in the axis 4 with the title gamma then the last signal is that is the theta signal is plotted here after that the feature extraction will be carried out for the alpha, beta, gamma and theta separately. Hence the features of the alpha signal is in the tabulated one. Then in the tabulation two the beta signal feature is shown. Then the gamma signal feature is shown in the tabulation three. Then the theta signal is shown in the tabulation four. After that finally the classification will be done. This classification process it will be shown the results as a normal signal. Hence the input is the normal signal. After that click the button performance estimation. This performance estimation the accuracy is 90% error rate is 10% sensitivity is 100% specificity is 80% energy value is 6.9 variance is 6000 346.5 then the standard deviation is 79.6 then the MRC is that is the mean square error is 2.5 then the PSNR that is the peak signal to noise ratio value is the 44 hence this is the overall performance results shown in this table by using these parameters only we can justify our process is efficient